Hello everyone, in a short video I'm going to talk about one of the services, uh, one of the AI services that we have in Cognitive Service and we are going, uh, actually we now be able to use it in Power BI Service Data Flow and that is about the image tag. So what is the image tag? So imagine that I load a picture here and this service is actually going to extract different information that is found in the picture so for example i load my the picture of my dog here and as you see here is able to detect uh, in the in the windows here is able to detect uh, the tags like the the name is animal with 93 percent confidence the type of a dog is uh, carnavi with 91 percent uh, and also the color of the dog is black with 70% and also it provides some description about the, the dog sitting black in front and the other and also it says the dog is looking at the camera so it provides actually a description of that let's look at the other example so here I'm again go to my picture and load another picture that I with some of my friends was we were playing a table, we were playing tennis. So I'm upload that one. So you see that for this picture is actually provide different information. So it says that it's able to detect people with confidence of 99%, which is correct. It is tennis. Yep, that's correct. It's the outdoor with 99%. There is a rocket in the picture that is correct. Uh, there's a tennis rocket with 89% confidence and you see that is able to detect all of the elements that we have here and also you see here is able to mention that Reza et al uh, posing for the camera so also is able to detect the name of the people here and actually because uh, I didn't mention Reza in here but is able to detect the people who are in social media and the other and provide a description on that. So uh, this is actually uh, one of the uh, really interesting uh, uh, API and uh, part of the Microsoft Cognitive Services that now is available in Power BI uh, service. So that means that you're able easily to call these uh, actually API. So I'm going to my uh, Power BI service. It should be a premium one. So if you don't uh, if you are, have a premium capacity, uh, you able to access to these cognitive services in your Power BI service. So uh, just be careful that you need to create a, a app work uh, space. Not you couldn't do it in a my uh, workspace because in my workspace we don't have access to the data flow. So we need to go to the workspace, and I have one here, and under the data flow. I'm going to actually to use that. So for this scenario, what I have actually, I have a couple of different pictures that I'm already put it in the blob store. So I'm going to load them here. So this is a, one of the examples. So we are planting some trees here or the other ones. Oh, and also the other one was about, I think the same one. So here is actually that's a, another one about the uh, a view in South Korea that actually I taken, and the other one actually there are a couple of the same the tennis one and also the picture of my dog. So these are the picture that I'm going to put there and uh, see that how can I get uh, some image tag on that one. Okay, so first of all you need to create click on create create a data flow and then <clears throat> just after that I'm going to get the data so I'm going to create a query here so this is just there are other ways you can do that but because I'm very fast I'm going to do that I easily get the pictures by writing some uh, M and for query language here but it can be done in a different ways. If you have it in different formats, you can do that. So I'm clicking on blank query and I just replace that with the one. So what is actually this M query that actually 
is going to get the content of the web here. So uh, you can do it in different ways, but it's also possible. So I'm going to get these pictures. So it's asking me about the credential to access to my blob storage for all of that pictures. Uh, I'm just providing that one because there's four pictures, so it's taking me about two, three, four times actually ask me. But there are also easy way to do that. So just, but for this demo, I'm uh, showing you the easiest way. So these are the pictures that I have. Then I click on AI Insight, as you see at the top, and uh, under the folder Cognitive Services, if you look at here, there is a, the first one is Image. Tag. So I use that one. This is the image column that I have. I apply that one, and it's going to give me a records, records of the image tag, and also a JSON file that actually shows me the confidence and also the description of the image. So here is actually is the record comes from the cognitive services, and is actually going to load the detail for me here so you see that how is easy actually uh, we able without uh, writing any code we able to access to this one so just wait so you see that is actually show the description with the confidence and everything uh, many of you know that that we able to get the data so uh, I'm already get the data from data flow so what I did is actually I uh, save it so I just save and close and it's become refresh and store in my data flow so I'm just save it here and it's going to be accessible through my power query so I am easily able to go to the get data to the power query uh, sorry to the more and then power query and under the power query there is a connection to data flow I just easily connect to that one and I'm able to actually to access the model that I create there. So uh, before that, I'm already created one. So if you look at here, I have an image tag. That's the same one that I did before. Just, just waiting till it actually open. And you will see that is exactly, this is the same data that I get from there, so it's an image tag for data, and actually it gives me the uh, tags and all the confidence. So with the help of Power Query and also some data transformation, I bring the data here. So for example, now if I click on here, you see that it says that uh, this is an author with 99%, this is a tree, this is grass, ground, and park. Or for this one, it actually gives me some more information. Or for this one, I'll actually you can see the different thing. So this is a kind of the very easy usage of the cognitive services here. So you can easily use it and consume it here. Also, uh, I have a blog post, not about this, but about using this service in uh, Microsoft Flow. So also you can do that, bring your data and apply there and get the information and store it in other, uh, actually, uh, area so this is another way that you can do that uh, I will show later on about that how we can use data flow actually Microsoft flow and then pass it to the power bi and see that result there I hope that you enjoyed this short video uh, thanks for watching